cross cut. We're going to accomplish this by using a compound miter saw due to the size, the width of these planks. This saw actually comes backwards and forwards to cover the whole width of the plank. Oh, that's not going to fit. No, we're going to have to rip it down about an eighth of an inch off the base there. Okay. So we're going to do a rip cut, which means a lengthwise cut. We're going to allow for the expansion space and then the quarter round will cover it and then it'll look all finished when we're done putting down the shoe molding. Now that we made our rip cut, we're gonna go ahead and put the plank in and we'll be starting our last wall, just like that. <laughs> 